Finally. Yo, what up guys, brief 5 d here and this is the best time in Rage Shadow Legends to pull your shots. A weekend like this when the portal is looking all colorful and glowy. This time in blue, that means it's time for ancient shots. But it's not just a normal shot event, it's a double chance event. 1% right there, you can see it colored a little bit, right? Usually it's a 0.5% chance of getting a legendary champion from your ancient shots. And usually it's a 8% chance, but this time it's 16%. So this is the best time for you to pull your shots. And I'm going to be doing that on three different accounts. Yes, the Noob to Pro series, the best series in the world. My main account, which is over three years old that I've been saving shots for. And also we have a new contender this weekend. What's his name now? Timothy. Yes, we've pulled shots on this account before. The last time we managed to get um, this viewer and subscriber a Shirimani, right? Yes, we did pull a Shirimani for you last time, I think so. So this time, let's see what we can get for Timothy. We'll get it done with his shot pulls and then we'll move over to my main account. We we'll saved the Noob to Pro for last because that's the account that we are looking forward to getting the most rewards from. All right, done with the intro. Let's head over with the shot pulls. Hopefully, I have enough space made out and let's do 10 shot pool for timothy right now hopefully you get a legendary <laughs> we are seeing if timothy can get good luck and we can also get good luck on our accounts just one epic out of um this 10 pool right now not that bad i guess nah no luck um, Timothy did say he wanted Boomer and um, Clan Boss Champion. So hopefully, let's see if we can pull something that can be used for that. But if you're in the early game, I always advise you, don't try to focus on Boomer as your first point of contact. Or even Doom Tower as a whole, not even Doom Tower normal. I always try to focus on Faction Wars. I feel like that gives you more value long term than trying to beat some stages in Doom Tower normal or hard. Nothing in this shard pool except two. Soul Drinker is kind of is good, is good, is good. Soul Drinker is good. Ooh, Ugo. I don't think you have an Ugo on this account. That's a big one, at least for, well, Hydra. Hydra. Even if you're trying to beat the first stage of Hydra, Ugo comes in clutch right there. This account, I think, is about 150 days old or so. No luck so far. Ugo is, is good. I can't, I can't that as a worthy epic to pull at an early game. If I can get Ugo on that on my main. Master Butcher is also good for Boomer. There you go. You wanted a Boomer champion. You got a rare. But I wouldn't recommend you start building him right now. Vrask. Now that's what we're talking about. Because you need tanks like Vogot, Vrask, Master Butcher. Who can keep your entire team alive. You need to out heal the bombs. Especially if you have high HP champions right there. So... He, I using my main team that can do boomer on auto with a full team, so that's a good pool right there for your boomer pool. Nothing for clan boss yet, though. Did you get anything for your clan boss team yet? And that's it. Do we have some more to pull? Six more, I think. Yes, six more shard pools. These shard pools are for Timothy. Let's see. If we can get one more, we're not striking gold this time because maybe you hit your pity last 2x, right? I don't know if that was a 2x ancient or a 2x on a secret shards that we pulled share money for you. I forget. But let's see. No luck this time. We did get a lot of epics. Ugo. Um, Vrask. That's one more epic for the road. Old Hermit. Jorog is not that great. Especially when you have better champions who can do the job of a reviver. I think that's his main role in your team. But he's good for fashion wars though. Executioner. No. And that's all the shard pools for Timothy. Let's move over to the next account. Thank you for letting me pull on your uh, account, Timothy. Hopefully you have better luck next time because you're closer to pity now. 76 shards without a legendary. That's closer to pity. We're saving the note to pull for last, so I currently have 288 shards on my account to pull. Now, I do not have space for this, so we'll have to be pausing later and make some space. So, I'm trying to hit 150, no, 140 mark to get this 
epic champion, I mean, legendary champion, Godfred. He should be an epic <laughs> who is currently available to pull at 140 shards. I did say in yesterday's video that he's not my main reason for pulling. So why am I pulling my shards finally? It's because I've waited for 1-2x on Ancient. It came around, it provided a champion that I already have. I think it was a Prince Kaima. I forget which one. I waited again for another one. I think the last one was Kandra for now, so I already have him. So I've been waiting a long time for a 2x event that coincides. No, not a 2x on Ancient. No, I'm talking about a guaranteed event. I've waited and waited, but it's always coming up with champions I have. So this time is a champion I do not have. That's the only reason I'm pulling for him. And from the comments dropped by our favorite um, commenter, you can see the mark right there received one of the highest number of hearts because <laughs> number of comments are high on robo ninja right there it's already a 2x good point you and you will still have 100 shards left you're assuming i'll keep any shards when i pull no i will not be keeping i'll pull my entire 280 and by the time the next 2x on ancient or a guaranteed event comes around i will still have enough shards yes i hope so so also shout out to robo ninja i don't do it often on the channel but i appreciate your subscription right there for an entire six months we'll, we have a join button right there on youtube but i don't promote it often i don't encourage it often for people to join so this is a shout out i guess to robo ninja for a consistent six months of being a member of the youtube channel so if you're interested hit that join button i don't have a lot of perks but it's just a way of you to support your favorite content creator which is me i guess Boy, if you don't get so, thank you, Robo Ninja, for your um, constant subscription and your comments also and likes. I appreciate you so much. Um, Grizzled, uh, Grizzled Sentinel did leave a strong point right there talking about skipping, but I will go with Robo Ninja's point because I've been keeping these shots for a long time and there's no reason for me to keep it anymore. So, that's why I'm pulling for my main account finally after over a month or two of not pulling or skipping out on different events even during the um fusion i didn't pull shots two x i've skipped at like two of them all right let me stop delaying on this account i need nothing but legendaries that i don't already have so i don't need duplicate champions at all all the epics i already have it so there's no epics that i'm looking out for i don't need duplicates of epic 2 at all i should have showed you my roster before pulling but just assume i have a lot of legendaries for an account that's been playing for three years free to play I have a lot of legendaries and i don't want duplicates which vrask i already have it, all these champions so which one am i looking forward to i appreciate a game changing arena tank i have no one in mind to be honest i just don't want a duplicate i just don't want a duplicate champion and so far no luck my Doom Tower had is done. My Clan Boss in, is in Ultra Nightmare. Hydra. Maybe I need champions for the Hydra. A Duchess. Okay, that's something I can think of. A Duchess will be nice on this account. But guess what? Even if I pull duplicates right now in this level of the game, you need duplicates to f be used as faction guardians. It's time for you to start boosting your faction guardians um, by those small amount of extra stats that it gives you for using duplicates in faction guardians so if i do get it i'm not looking forward to it i'm not praying for a duplicate but if i do get it i won't be mad it's hard to impress an account like this and raid always give you duplicates even with, if we have a duplicate system <laughs> which nobody uses except for faction guardians I've not empowered any of my champions so far and I'm not looking forward to doing that yet until my faction guardians are full. No luck. Did I hit pity the last time I pulled ancient shards? I thought we were closer to Messi. Still score a good champion for the early game clan boss. Kunoichi also. Finally. Now, my spider is already at 1 minute 10 seconds or every 1 minute spider run with 2 cold hearts, HP born, Prince Kaima Stun and uh, Reset, Nuke again. Do I really need a CC a Flame Tongue for spider? No. 
But do I need that for Hydra and other content? Absolutely, yes. So I'm not too excited about getting her because I have a good spider team already. She will replace my HP Bond champion in the spider, yes. And she does more for HP Bond than what I currently use. So definitely, I'll replace her and probably get a 20 seconds run, 30 seconds run soon. But I'm going to be using this champion for the Hydra. That's the content I'll be building up for. I'll build a stat strong enough to beat Hydra on Brutal, that is. So, welcome to see Flame Tongue. Good one. It's it's worth the wait. So, at 140 shots, I'll be pulling the legendary champion. What's his name? Gof Gofred. Magna. That's a new pool for me. I don't have a Magna on this account. Magna is new for me. All the epics I have on this account that I have, I say I have everything, but Magna is new, new, new. I wasn't expecting Cecilia Flame Tongue. Of all the legendary champions I could think of, Cecilia did not even cross my mind because I was like, my spider team is already settled, so I don't need her. You already have a lot of other HP Bond champions like Mordecai doing the job, but she, she is the best HP Bond champion in Raid Shadow Legends, hands down. There's nobody can, that can tell me otherwise. I didn't even click her to see her skills. That's how <laughs> unexcited I was about getting her, I guess. But hey, don't get me wrong. She's the best at what she does. Another one. Nah, it's not. <laughs> it's just Godfred Brass Clad. All right. So do I keep pulling? How many more shots do I have? 148. Do I keep pulling or do I stop here? Because I already hit my pity. I already hit my pity with his flame tongue. So the next legendary will be at 100, maybe. Let's go. Let's keep going. I'll pause to make out some space. Let's keep going. I've waited this long. There's no need for me to. Because it seems like all the guaranteed events they keep coming up with for ancients at least is not worth it. But if they do guaranteed events for sacred shards, now nah, that would be awesome. That's why I'm saving my sacred shards for also. Dark Elhain, the answer to Tormen teams in the arena. I have a video about her. One more legendary and I'll be done. If I get one more legendary, I'm good. Alright, I made some more space. Let me head over to my clan boss. It's 11 and let me claim my rewards right now that we got for reset. Hopefully, we have some more secret shot. Not ancient, secret added to the pool. Nah. No secret right there. That's one more ancient. <laughs> I'll take it. If you're wondering how I got all these shots, this is how. Doing three to four clan boss per day and getting double rewards for them. But today, I think I did only three. One more ancient for the road? Nah, nothing. All right. Not, a, not my luck this time. Let me head over back to the shard pools. I made some space by buying, almost maxing out the reserve vault. And um, now I have a lot of space. <laughs> Crazy. All right, let's do one more, 120 more shard pools and call it a day. I have one more legendary coming my way. I know it. I just know it. There is no way I'm not getting one more legendary. If I don't, at least I'll be closer to pity for the next event. But don't tell me out of 288 shots, all I will get is CC a flame tongue. That's not done. That's not how it goes. At least two or three legendaries is what I'm expecting on this main account that is unlucky sometimes. We don't talk about the unlucky nature of this account because of it might happen again. I'm talking about having three. What's his name? No, let's not even say his name so he don't pop up. I'm not going to say his name. But if you've been watching the channel, you know who I'm talking about. I've gotten three copies of that Legendary Champion and I'm not stoked about it at all. But Nobkek seems to be enjoying him, in the Hydra at least. Because I've gotten him so many times, I don't think he's even worth me building him for the Hydra. No luck so far. Where is my Legendary pool? Ooh, we got a Wuji. We got a Wuji. That's new. Because we did use her for the Fusion. Cage Breaker Trash. So two new epics on the account, Magna and Wuji. 
Come on, come on, come on. So many apothecaries, so many apothecaries have been dropping in the rare category. Maeve, nope. I'm taking first position in the champion chase that is currently on. Or is it someone rush? I don't know what, what event is going on right now. Austin Ironhide needs a buff. Master Butcher, another copy for me. I already have two Vogods boots for my Boomal team. So I do not need a Master Butcher. I put so many shots, my network disconnected. Alright, let's get back to it. <laughs> Steel Boyer. A champion you can use in faction wars i mean faction faction guardians if you're new to the game for that elves faction i'm currently keeping copies of her on the noob to pro just so i can have that faction fully maxed for apothecary i think and is that it 10 more all right last 10 pool i'm 100 and what 10 into PT, I guess, or about 120 or so. Let's see if this last one is where the lock has been hiding. Please, one, one at least. Nah. It's not going to happen for the main account this time around, but we did get a CCR Flame Tongue, which is out of 288 Ancient Shards. One Legendary is not a good pull. One legendary out of 288 is not a good pull, but at least we are closer to Messi for the next time I'm going to pull Ancient Shards on this main account. All right, let's move over to the noob to pro and see what that account has in store for us. 65 Shards right there. Do we have space? We don't. I'll be right back. All right, so far on the noob to pro, I think we've been kind of unlocking in the shard department. I've made space and you can see right there that for a 60 day account, this, this account is not looking good. All this... Epics I have so far were from, you know, just playing the game, logging in. The three champions I got so far, maybe Frozen Banshee, that's a rare. We've not been lucky in this account. We did get a Nuka last time, but that's for the arena. We need something for the clan boss. I'm looking forward to a Vogot. I'm looking forward to maybe even a legendary champion that can do the job because we've not yet pulled a legendary from Shards on this noob to pro that's why I was showing you the roster. I do have space right now. Let's head over to the shot pool for the Noob to Pro. And hopefully, this is where all the luck has been hiding. Timothy was not lucky. My main account got a CCR, a little bit of luck out of 288 shots. Let's see what the Noob to Pro can do. Nothing. All right, about 300k silver. Hopefully, that's enough. The resources are scarce on this account. So, bear with me. Epics legendary we have a frost bringer that's a second one we have a valor that's a second one we're getting dupe 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 rares all right i have no other ways of generating silver than just coming to buy it right now because i can't be going to campaign to farm right now just let's just finish this shot pool i think i have 40 more pools to go so that's four purchases don't do this it's not the wise way of to spend all your um, clan gold right there I'm just trying to finish the shard pool and get over with it. Hopefully, it's worth it because we get a legendary, right? Nah. <laughs> Talia. You see what I'm talking about? This new to pro is cost. How can we get all epics and they're all duplicate epics that we already have on the account? Talia, Valia, what's her name? Vala, Coffin Smasher, okay, but I already have a decreased attack on the A1 with Terrell. What is happening with this account? The last note to pro series was so lucky. We got a legendary by now. But this one is cost. Another epic RNS. Now I'm not even have asking for legendaries. I'm asking for good epics to change the account, but see what we are all getting. RNS is good, but that's a Nuka Nogoyo. Of course we pull Nogoyo. We got our first legendary on the noob to pro and it's an arrow should i be happy or sad about this we got nogoyo which is the epic champion we we're already doing this this fusion for we spent our resources trying to do this fusion now we finally pulled him and this is the exact reason why i told you guys not to go for this epic fusion because you will get him from shards 
And we did get him from Shards. Now we have two Nogoyos. <laughs> Errol, though, we'll take a look at him to see how we can help the Noob to Pro series on the A1. This is a Nuka. This is a Nuka. We already have Gembo, the Dishonored. But Errol is a single target Nuka, I think. Attacks one enemy, has an extra 30% chance to inflict critical hit. Has an extra 30% chance of inflicting critical hit. So you want to build him with, what, 70% crit? Let's find out if his A2 also have that chance. He does. He attacks three times. He hits an enemy three times. Each hit has a 50% chance of ignoring defense. So that's a huge looking ability. Three turn cooldown. Attack base champion. So this skill also builds 70% crit. And finally, A3. Also 30% chance to inflict critical hit so this champion all the way he's built with 70 percent crit i guess this gives him enough opportunity to learn to add more crit damage through his hits but the only problem is is a single target nuka single target nuka on this a3 steals all buff from the target enemy then attacks them has an extra 30 percent chance that means he needs accuracy for this to happen you need accuracy on this champion but we don't like champions. Nukas will also need accuracy. Gembo doesn't need accuracy. All his steals are based on cannot be resisted. I'm not trying to compare Arrow with Gembo because I feel like Arrow single target will hit harder. But um, on this aura, increase attacking all dungeons by 35. So is that a dungeon Nuka? Will this champion be useful for the noob to pro? Personally, I will build the Gembo as the Nuka because it's easier to book him and use everywhere. But this and his AoE damage. But Errol seems like a faction war specific champion. Or let me know how you guys use this champion. I'll check up videos about him and see where others are using him. But a lot of people prefer AoE Nukas than a single target Nuka. I've seen him, what he can do in faction wars is good to just take down people. But, um, I don't know if he, in the arena he will be a single target nuke if you build him for that purpose when I already have a gamble. Alright, you guys let me know what you think about this one. Noob to Pro first legendary pool. We also got a Hellgazer right there. Another useless epic. Can we get a useful epic? Rear guard is okay, I guess. We don't have increased defense right now in the arena. No, I mean in the um, clan boss. And she comes in with what ally protection not increased defense but ally protection is huge for the clan boss so yes this champion will be built for the clan boss because this is the first ally protection champion we have right now and she will be paired with who else hp aura decrease attack aoe decrease attack heals this champion by 25 percent of the damage inflicted a1 decreased defense so she will be helping Tyrell with decreased defense because his decreased defense for that clan boss is not always available, for at least for one turn or so. So Gregard is a useful one at least. Out of all these epics, she is the first one that I've seen that is useful for the Noob to Pro. We have at six, five more shots to go single pool, so let's go. Do we have one more legendary or one more epic to pull at least? That would be awesome if we can get one more. I thought it is Skull Crusher. I almost got excited. I thought it is Skull Crusher because it also <laughs> looks alike. That would have been awesome to pull a Skull Crusher at this level of the game. Just 60 days in. Yes, this is day 60 and I'll do a Noob to Pro update later in the evening to find out what we plan next for the Noob to Pro. What we can do with all these champions we got. That's why I'm not wasting time to go through all of them right now. I'll save all that for the Noob to Pro update. In the evening, one more epic, one more epic. Sanguinia. She's good, I guess, for this cleanse that she does. Where is it? Places block buff on all allies for one turn. And 15% continuous heal. Where is the cleanse, though? Is it a passive? No. That's an aura. Increase all accuracy in Doom Tower by 35 Attacks one enemy, has a 75% chance of transferring all debuffs from this champion to the target. Removes all debuffs from all allies except this champion. So she's 4 turn cooldown cleanse, I guess. I will need it for the spider. This is my first, I mean, Doom Tower spider. That is, um, that is my first cleanser that I'm having on the account. She will be used for that purpose, but she's not high priority build. No. And the last shard on the noob to pro, will it be another epic? No, it's a... 
trash tempress. All right, that's all the shard pool I have for this um, shard pool 2x on ancient. I did get CCR Flame Tongue from my main account, and the new to pro did got a legendary, but I it's one that is good, but it's not one I'm super excited to see on the account considering where we are in the game right now. Let me know how your shard pool went. We have other champions to focus on besides um, Aero. And um, yeah, this was not a lucky pool. This was not a lucky 2x for me. I didn't get two legendaries in one. I didn't get game-changing epics on the Noob2 Pro. And we didn't also pull any game-changing ones for Timothy besides Vrask. Hit that like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'll see you guys later in the evening for a Noob2 Pro update. Later, guys.